people. It's a very pretty late summer day, early autumn day rather, in September of 2013, just outside Paris, France. And the bus ride I'm taking is not taking its usual route. They rerouted this bus. Um, and I'm going to my nefarious employer of the past eight or nine years to sign some papers to leave them. And I just want to say that uh, whenever you engage someone such as an English language trainer, for example, um, make sure that their work conditions are fair and that they're getting paid appropriately and that their rights are being respected. And I know that's a lot of work. And uh, we think, oh, I don't have time, I don't have time for that. But this, this sort of thing, you know, what, what goes around comes around, you know. Um, if you're dealing with subcontractors and employees who are being mistreated, it's going to have a negative impact on you and your community and your family. Uh, any way you slice it, pretty much anywhere in the world. So, what my current employer did not realize in the time when they engaged me was that I'm part Pennsylvania Dutch and we are just about the most tenacious, stubborn, annoying, Ten Commandments kind of people you ever want to know. We don't really care if we are tortured, exterminated, driven out of our countries, you know, bothered in any way, shape, or form. We live by our conscience and we live close to the land and with nature in respect of animals and plants and other people. And <laughs> that's just how we are. So I'm about half of Pennsylvania Dutch extraction. <coughs> and they, they didn't know that. And if they had known that, I'm sure they wouldn't have hired me. Poor white female from the USA, you know. Or no. They underestimated my tenacity. And so what I did was, as quickly as possible, I joined a union. Again, I had done this in the States. I know unions are not perfect, but they are very important people. Please study labor relations, and uh, once you know what's possible, um, I hope you'll rethink things. And I became an employee delegate for 10 years, and as an immigrant here in France, it was the education of a lifetime. I had to learn all about the legal system over here, the laws, human rights, all kinds of stuff. And I did have an education which included, you know, organizational behavior. I had an MBA. I had to study labor relations. I did know some of this stuff, but here I had to really apply it. And uh, it was good. It was very good. It was slow and painful, and unfortunately, it ruined my health. And um, my friends and family have abandoned me. I'm dead to all of them, pretty much. Um, it's been very sad for me. So if you think that, you know, being mistreated at work isn't going to really affect you and you can just move on, you know, go to the next thing, that's not really realistic. I mean, my life has been pretty simple. Uh, I mean, I, I don't have a great number of children to look after or any complex property situations or extensive responsibilities or anything like that. But really, this is 
cost me my life and my health and my happiness. So I'm going to face down these mofos now and you can be sure that I will be calm and quiet. If anything's weird because these people have actually physically attacked me in the past, I will probably just get out of there. There were witnesses, you know, people saw all of this going on. Co-workers, clients, doctors, you know, everybody. Lawyers. And there was just like this absolute omerta about these people, you know. It's, it's just really been awful. And so, here I go.